hope you enjoy your holiday, Kay. Merry Christmas. And a Merry Christmas to you too. Bye. Goodbye. Come on now, young man. Last boarding for the train to Musbury Junction. Ah, oh, you bad. Uh, no, no, no. You get aboard. I'll handle this. Gosh. Thank you, sir. Not at all, young man. Now, I suggest you find yourself a seat. The train will be leaving soon. Yes. Thank you. I will. Thank you, sir. And a Merry Christmas. Oh, and a Merry Christmas to you too, young man. Excuse me, would I get the train for Condicott? The Condicott in Patchester, Railway New Leinster, at the number 5 platform by the footbridge. Ah, thank you, sir. My ticket. My ticket. My ticket. I've lost my ticket. Young man, I see my Barney dog has made friends with you at first sight. That's the time that likings are made. Now, you're looking for your ticket. Slow. It's on the platform, dropped at your feet. But it can't be. I was just... Well, so it is. Thank you, sir. Must have slipped it out as you rampaged. As I was? Well. Uh, can I give you a hand? Oh, if you would be so kind. You hold me steady as I swing her up, and I can get her on my back, where she'll ride a triumph. Only I do date from pagan times, and age does make joints to creak. Or doesn't it? I should think it does. Then, there we are. Oh, my train. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. By the way, my name's Harker. Hey, Harker. Yes, I do know. Going home for the holidays, <laughs> what? Uh, yes sir. Very seasonal weather too. Snow. I like snow. Over Christmas I wonder if you play games and uh, do card tricks. I don't know any card tricks. Not know any? Allow me to teach you one. Oh, I don't think I'll be very good at it. I see that you'll be very clever at it. Don't you agree, Tristan? He has the face of one to be very clever at card tricks. The very face. It's just the facial angle and the Borromean index. Let nothing tempt you into playing cards with strangers on a train. That's what my guardian says. Nevertheless, there's no harm in showing him one of the tricks that card sharpeners use to deceive the unwary. <laughs> what? True, true. Now, you see? Which is the lady? That one. So it is. Gosh, what it is to have young eyes, Gawain, is it not? There, I owe you a sixpence. Oh, I'm not usually allowed to play for money. 
very good principle. But if I beat you this time, you shall give me half a crown for the poor box for next Sunday's collection. But I agree to men of the cloth such as ourselves. That would simply be sportsman's honour. Oh, of course. Now, which is the lady? That one. I saw her from underneath as the cards went down. Half a crown. Goodness, with such a plentiful wallet, you must be careful not to drop anything, young man. Woof! <laughs> Charming little fella. Do you keep dogs at Sea Kings, Mr. Harker? How do you know my name and where I live? Uh -huh. <laughs> Magic. Welcome back, Kay. Oh, Jim, give Master Kay a hand, will you? Why, Master Kay? How are you doing? Oh, thank you, Jim. Indeed. I think you've grown a full half inch this term. Oh, Caroline Louisa! Pickpockets! There must have been pickpockets in the crowd. My little purse and my watch. Gone! <laughs> oh, what a good start to the holidays. Goodness. It's a ticket I couldn't find. Don't be silly, Kay. I saw you hand it in to the man at the gate. It's the old man. Can we give him a lift? Excuse me, sir. Is that a Punch and Judy show? I am, so to speak, a showman. But the secrets of my show, they aren't to be had by everyone, are they? I was to ask you whether you'd like a lift into town. It being so cold. No, I thank you, Master Harker. You must get home to Seekings. Time and tide and buttered eggs wait for no man. But one thing you can do for me. The wolves are running. Perhaps you would do something to stop their bite. Wolves? If you will, there is something no other soul can do for me but you alone. Look for the old lady, Master K. The old lady with the ring. Caroline Louisa, are we having muffins? No, tea cakes. Oh, I'd love some muffins. Can we stop at Bob the Baker's and get some? Only, you'll have to lend me some tin. I haven't got a tosser to my kick. Kay, you know you're not allowed to use slang. <laughs> tosser to my kick. <laughs> About these pickpockets, who else is on the train? Two weird chaps. But it can't have been them. They were sort of clergymen. But it was peculiar. They knew my name and that I lived at Seekings. Well, they could have read that in your luggage labels. I say, I don't suppose you were robbed by that old man. Never. He wouldn't do that. I know he wouldn't. Jim, can you stop at the baker's, please? Well, are you going to cough up? Good day, young master Harker, and Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. You too. Please, the walls are running. He says, if I tell you, you will know, and the others will know, and no, and no one will get bit. <sighs> what else are we having to eat? Something special, just for you. Butter eggs. <laughs> How did you guess? Time and tide and buttered eggs wait for no man. Okay, I must tell you, all the Joneses' children are with us for the holiday. Golly! How did that happen? Well, the parents had to go abroad. Couldn't bear to think of the children having nowhere to go for Christmas. You don't mind? No, I like the Joneses. It's rather a gollop of them, though. Look, I wonder who owns those Alsatians. Good many people have them these days. For protection. I never liked them. They're too like wolves. Stick them up! Mariah, really? Mariah, don't point guns at people. Hello, Kay. Hello. Oh, Pooh, it's only a toy. Kay, 
I've got a real gun at home, and I pop balloons and tin cans with it. It's an air rifle, and it's not really yours. Kay, you remember my sensible sisters, Susan and Jemima? Yes, of course. Hello. Hello. Kay, what are we going to do this Christmas? If we get snowed in, it could get awfully boring. What Jemima means is what Christmas treats you might have, and it's not very polite of her to ask. Golly, I am stupid. I should have asked that old Punch and Judy man whether he'll come and give us a show. Ugh, my idea of a Christmas treat is if a gang of robbers burgled the neighbourhood and we battled it out with revolvers. Bang, bang, bang! I hope we may be spared that. Christmas ought to be brought up to date with gangsters and automatic pistols and aeroplanes. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline Louisa, can we go into town and see if we can find him? You may go, but it is getting rather cold, and I think your guests should stay and get ready for supper. are running. If you see someone, say someone is safe. Look out until then, Master Harker. If I saw someone, I was to tell someone that someone is safe. Ah, when the wolves are running, that's more than anyone knows. Would you tell me what you mean by wolves? Now then, you want me to go up to Seekings with my punch and duty. How do you know? I will come, and I may bring more than my show. In my box of such delight, says you. But you're a good, kind boy. And you may see something of the box. Is it... Are you... Magic? Now then, you're fond of birds, aren't you? What bird would you most like to see? There is a bird I've always wanted to see. But I don't think it really exists. Let's see if we can wake him up, shall we? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. I understand that you've been extremely wicked and bad. Oh no, oh no. I should take you down to you know where to be punished. Oh no, oh no. But as it's Christmas, I've decided to give you one more chance. Promise you'll be good. Oh, I will. I will. 
I know you will be. Oh, I will, I will. May punch be good, and Judy fair, and evil vanish into air. May we have the lights, please, Ellen? There's someone out there. Well, we'll soon see. old choir. Oh, it's the cathedral choir from Tachester. The bishop himself is there with them. Your Grace? Ah, no. No, don't tempt me. Aha. The very man I want to speak to. Um, Mr. Oh, um, Hollings, Your Grace. Cole Hollings. I'm giving a Christmas party tomorrow evening at five o'clock, and you're all invited. Especially you, Mr. Cole Hollings, with your Punch and Judy show. Right gladly will I come, Your Grace, for I've played a Christmas play upon that night ever since pagan times. Huh? In a manner of speaking. Oh. Take care on your way home now. Good night. Oh, one thing more. On Christmas Eve, the midnight service at Tachester Cathedral would be the thousandth Christmas ceremony to be held there. Just think of that. A special service every single Christmas for a thousand years. You must all come and make it truly memorable. We shall be there, Your Grace. Whatever happens in between, we shall be there. Just too late for your concert, what? No matter. Merry Christmas! Hey, come in out of the cold. See, Kings, now all that soppy singing's over, we're gonna dress up and play pirates. You're going up. I'll be there in a minute. Outside. What do they want? My old magic. Their new magic is sometimes too powerful for mine. But I have something they want. You mean the box of delights? What picture is that? Uh, it was painted by my grandfather. It's a mountain in Switzerland. <sighs> then you won't mind if I take a step inside? I beg your pardon? But off we go. Watch out for wolves, Master K. Come on. Come on, Barney Dog. Extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. London on the telephone. My brother's ill again, and ah. I think I should pop up to see him. Just for a day. I hate leaving you all on your own. But it's Christmas. Season of goodwill and all that. Nothing can go wrong, can it? 
I shall have to catch the evening train. Will you come and see me off? Kay, what are you gaping at? Uh, Jim, I've got to do a bit of last minute Christmas shopping for those blessed Joneses. Can you drop me near the shops? I'll find my own way home. Well, here we all are then. <laughs> what? We are not all here yet. Where's Rat? <laughs> Rat, my dear. Got any green cheese for me? As green as only you can eat. <laughs> and uh, what are we to do next, what? You, foxy-faced Charles, and you, my chubby Joe, let that old devil of a Punch and Judy man slip through my fingers. Ah, but we overheard some valuable information. The bishop gives a Christmas party at his palace in Tachester. Uh, tomorrow at five, God. And the old boy will be there. Christmas party? Tachester. Off you get to Tachester right now. Smell out the ground. <sighs> right. Them's the two you want to watch, boss. Likes me chief. Both of them would. Even him. Oh, la ha, what? Well, have you found anything for me, rat? At the drop of dew, before the boy come along, the old man had a powwow with her. The old woman with the flashing eyes. Expect action at dawn tomorrow. Dawn? Action? Where? Bacon rinds I was hoping for, not just cheese. Bacon rind you shall have tomorrow. Oh yes, that brings a plump to the man. Bacon rind tomorrow. That marabone the day after makes the fur shine. <laughs> Rat dear, I said... Where? The old man will be near King Arthur's camp on Butler's Down up on the hill. Brave rat. Beautiful rat. Report to me, then, after the action at dawn. 11 a.m., my private rooms, Prince Rupert's arms. I will get that box from him, rat, for it will give me power, power over all. As for the thousandth Christmas ceremony, well, we will see about that. But if anyone else gets in my way... Meaning the boy. Meaning the boy. Young Master Harker, if he should get in our way. King Arthur's camp. I'm needed there. I know I am. Will you come? Come? It must be nearly midnight. Anyway, that hasn't been a camp for centuries. It's just a big lump of earth in the middle of nowhere. Oh, go back to sleep.
Pony! Pony, how do we get in?